TikTok. Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gent Sense. About a year ago, I feel like, was the last time that I, but I figured enough time has passed. Let's check in and let's see what's going on over there. Before we jump into the TikTok videos here, I'd like to give you the codes that I always give you. So pause the video if you'd like to use them. <laughs> use them, see them, copy them down. Between 10 and 20% off at a bunch of different websites. Triple Traders has got the clone hookup. And then we got Max Aroma, Twisted Lily, Lucky Scent, and So Avant Garde for both some designer and a boatload of niche. Now I looked at a whole bunch of TikTok videos today and picked some out that we can check out together. But I gotta tell you, a few things I saw just repeated over and over and over. I'll also put the people down in the description whose videos I check out. So if you are on TikTok, you, you probably know them all already, but if not, make sure to, you know, show them some support, show them some love. <sighs> okay, here we go. Don't buy that, buy this instead, fragrance edition. Dior Sauvage EDT is a versatile and mass appealing fragrance. However, it is arguably becoming outdated. Instead, consider getting Club de Nuit Intense Man. Oh. This has similar versatility. However, you'll stand out a lot more wearing this and it- Oh no, I just, uh, I need a second. <sighs> okay, so uh, Dior Sauvage, it's arguably outdated. So Dior Sauvage was released in 2015. That's when the Eau de Toilette came out. And then Club de Nuit Intense Man, which is not outdated, which is the replacement fragrance here, that came out in also 2015. They're the same age. Now, I, I guess what he's getting across here is that Dior Sauvage is too popular. I, again, I kind of talked about that before. You will see that nonstop on fragrance TikTok. Sauvage, Sauvage, Sauvage. Overrated, overplayed, this, that, the other thing. It's low hanging fruit, basically. It's like, oh, I need to say that something sucks and I want it to be popular. That way it looks like I kind of am my own man. I'm not following what's popular, but what could it be? Cause I don't want to do something that's you know, too potentially controversial. Friggin' Savage, that's, that's a good one because it gets crapped on because Ambroxen. <laughs> but then followed up with Club de Nuit Intense Man, which is just as versatile, but smells bad or absolutely nothing like Savage. That's what it should say, but smells absolutely nothing like Savage. I guess I'll just put this one in too. Because Club de Nuit Intense Man is a clone of Creative Ventus. But for whatever reason, Club de Nuit Intense Man doesn't catch as much hate I noticed on Fragrance TikTok. A lot of people will sing its praises. Uh, would I ever suggest Club de Nuit Intense Man over Sauvage? Not necessarily. It's not really a good replacement for the other, in, in my opinion, you know. It does have pretty good versatility though, as all Ventus clones will have. So there is that. Let's keep going. And it is a lot cheaper. For its price, Nautica Voyage is a nice, fresh and clean, out of the shower scent. However, it is basic and from my experience, you won't get that many compliments wearing this. If you're willing to spend $30 to $40 more, get Rasasi Hawass instead. This smells much more unique, performs a hundred times better, and you'll stand out more wearing this. Versace Eros. Okay, so this one is a little bit better because they're both fresh fragrances with an aquatic kind of tinge to it, but Rasasi Hawass, that's a clone of uh, Invictus Aqua. Two for two on clones of other fragrances than the one that you're replacing. Yeah. That being said, uh, I don't disagree that Hawass is definitely the better performing fragrance. It's gonna get you more attention. It's gonna get you more compliments than uh, Voyage. I'm looking at Eros, I almost said Eros, but yeah. Uh, let's just keep going. This was my first fragrance and I still do really like the smell. However, I think there is a better alternative out there. I personally prefer Versace Eros Flame. This has spices and some citrus notes added in there. And to me, it smells more unique and pulls more compliments. Boom. There it is. But to be fair here, uh, he did not say that Eros was no good. He said he still likes it, just that Eros Flame is better. And this is something I find really interesting. I've just talked about this on YouTube as well. Uh, Eros Flame, as time has gone on, has gotten more and more popular within the community. So when Eros Flame first came out, it was kind of, you know, okay, but people weren't as big on it. But then as time has gone on, more and more people have been like, oh, Eros Flame is actually really good. I prefer Eros Flame. So I don't really have a problem with that. But it is something that is more and more prevalent on TikTok, I've noticed, since the last time I checked. 
sounds like a year ago. Okay, so we have another video by the same creator. Three fragrances every man should own. Let's see how it is. Three fragrances every man should own. Oh, you got the robot voice. Love it. Club de Newt Intense Man. The best Creed event is cloned for only $40. Versatile and mass appealing, you will get compliments wearing this. Yeah, Club de Newt Man. Once again, we got the Newt in here. I get it. I, I talked about this on like a previous TikTok video. There are a lot of people making the content on TikTok who maybe own like 20 fragrances. And, and I'm not saying, I'm not gatekeeping and saying that you can't make your, your content. Make it, brother. But then sometimes it's like, uh, Club, Club, du, Club de Nuit does everything, huh? You will get compliments. And I'll tell you what, that bottle is getting a lot of juice on it. <laughs> it's like spraying it into the air, the bottle is just caked with that juice. One million lucky. You will probably get lucky wearing this. That's how much women love. Oh! Oh man, you will probably get lucky. Yeah, boy. You need to be a YouTuber. The only downside is the atomizer. Nautica Voyage. A fresh and clean scent for only $20. If you like the smell of cucumbers, get this fragrance. <laughs> what? So in the first one we watch, Nautica Voyage El Succo. Don't get Nautica Voyage. It blows. There's no reason to get that. It's trash. It's garbage. Will you get compliments? No, of course not. Stuff uh, is lame. It's not worth it, even though it's only 20 bucks. But then we come to three fragrances everyone needs to own. Everybody needs these. If you don't have these, you're a nobody. Nautica Voyage. Now I'm confused. I don't understand. I was gonna get the fragrance. I was gonna get the Voyage. You slapped my hand and you said, don't get the Nautica Voyage. That stuff is garbage. Get Hawass. I was like, okay, okay, Hawass. And then you stopped me and you said, hey, I got three fragrances every man needs to own. You wanna know what they are? And I said, yeah, sure. Pulled out the Club de Nui Intense and I went, oh, you just talked about that one. That makes sense. One million lucky. Ooh, I'll get lucky. Nice. And then Nautica Voyage. But you just, you just slapped my hand and told me no voyage. And now you're telling me yes voyage. Well, which is it? I don't know. I'm so confused. Let us continue our journey. Next up we have that fragrance kid. What's the what's the title of this? It did no title. <laughs> Fair enough. Perfumes de Molly Paris. Oh. 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 Oh man. Oh man. If I had this coming through speakers, okay? And somebody walked by the door <laughs> and what they heard was, oh, oh, oh man, oh. Pretty sure they wouldn't think that this is what I'm watching. My dude is dripped out. He's got the shades, the suit. He looks like he won a couple Super Bowls and a World Series with the rings he's got on. Hair slicked back with the uh, Miami Vice color of a uh, button up there. Yeah, he's like, fully pimped out. Parfumes, what did he say? Perfumes to, to Marley Paris? Perfumes to Marley. Oh, this one. This one. This one's better than <laughs> any fragrance in my collection for sure. Wow. He's just, he's like 15 seconds from getting off there. So I'm glad the video ended when it did, and yet it's strangely very entertaining. I think this guy could be possibly one of the greatest TikTokers alive. So uh, that's, I guess, he said, what was it? The, the greatest fragrance or better than anything in his collection? I gotta hear that again. This one's better than any fragrance in my collection, for sure. Better than any fragrance in his collection, for sure. I'll tell you what that means, Tristan. Your collection sucks, sorry. That's uh, Pegasus, which for me is uh, one of my least favorite Parfum de Marly fragrances, but it has a lot of fans out there, so that's just personal taste, and Tristan, obviously a fan. That fragrance kid. This is fantastic. If all TikTok was this, it'd be a great place. I'd be on TikTok every day. Actually, I, I'm gonna watch some more uh, that fragrance kid. What do we got here? All right, so this is, uh, I think, like the newest one as of when I'm filming this video, 50 Cent. He's smelling some 50 Cent. Let's smell the cologne 50 Cent. Now this cologne was far more than 50 Cent, but um, I think it's a rapper um, or a DJ. And I myself used to be a DJ. They used to call me DJ Red Art Tristan in the house. This is, hey, hey, that's DJ Red Art Tristan in the house. No, 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 50 cents a rapper, no. But I used to be a DJ. 
I think he's a rapper or a DJ. I used to be a DJ. <laughs> DJ Tuesday or Red in the house. What was it? Red R DJs? Something? You and I have that in common. Back in the day, I used to be a DJ. DJ Midnight. That's cringy. Me and the fragrance kid are like, or that fragrance kid by Kindred Spirits. DJ Mirror just in the house. Ooh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Whoa! Ooh! <laughs> he just, <laughs> He just saw a spirit. Like he just saw, he just saw like a poltergeist or something off cam. He smelled the 50 cent and the fragrant spirit rose up in front of him and just, <laughs> is it a meme or is this real life? It doesn't matter. I need to, to be more like that fragrance kid. When I smell fragrances, I need to just be like, I need to allow it to happen, you know? No more of this stupid crap where you smell it and it's, you know, it's whatever. Aventus. So, it's the first time I'm smelling it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! 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 It's the first time I've ever smelled a fragrance like that. Oh. DJ Jensen in the house! In the house! Yes! This is content. This is good content. Oh my wow! Oh my holy! Wow! Whoa! Peppery good! good. <laughs> Ah, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Oh my wow. Oh my holy. I'm, it's a minute long. It's gonna take me like five minutes to get through this. Good, peppery, um, peppery, peppery. It smells a little bogamont, a little peppery. This smells like a really expensive cologne. Wow, I definitely recommend this. It smells like a really expensive cologne. If you're looking for an expensive cologne that's not too expensive, but that it smells. <laughs> And then it just gets cut off right at the end. It just, and perfect. It smells peppery, peppery. I'm getting peppery, a little peppery. Expensive, but it's cheap, expensive, peppery. And then cuts off. That friggin' rules. I love that. I wanna watch another one, but I need to watch other stuff. I don't wanna watch other stuff. I just wanna watch this. I guess I'll watch other stuff. I don't want to, I just wanna watch this, honestly. I don't think there's gonna be anything better than that on TikTok. Okay, here's a nice short video. This is basically hot or not for fragrances. So you say smash or pass, you know, it's like Tinder, swipe, left, swipe, swipe, blah, swipe, blah. So yeah, it's uh, it's that. Like I can, I can do this, man. I could do this. I just, this is like the only fragrance I have here right now. Check it out. This is me making TikTok content, and then it'll, like zoom it in. It's like hot, not. All right, here we go. Let's see what they do. Savage. Oh, I'm surprised. Why would a profile? I'm surprised. Spice bomb. I'm surprised. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. I'm trying to do my TikTok thing. Went a little, little too far out there. I think I, I just went a little too far out there. But yeah, this is kind of the kind of the mo. I, I feel like where if you're playing along, like you see those fragrances coming, you already know it's coming, right? You see the Invictus come out, you already know pfft, that's going to be a no. You know, you see um, the Sauvage come out, you know already that's going to be a no. La Mal Le Parfum Spice Bomb Extreme, you already know that's going to be a yes. So. Honestly, I just want more of that fragrance kit until the end of time. So now we have uh, Hanan Profumo and he has fragrances to conquer women. That's how we do. A lady is got the no brain, you just conquer the lady, you'll spread a fragrance. So this is you know pretty much the same thing, hot or not, only with lady used as a prop. We're starting off with the Sauvage. It's gonna be a knot, but one thing I wanna point out here is that bottle of Sauvage has like 25% left in there. Who you trying to fool? This Sauvage sucks, man. I would never wear this because people just don't like it and I don't get compliments, so I would never wear it. And it's like, it looks like you've used almost the whole bottle there though. No, man, it's just evaporation, dude. The, the it, it evaporates, stupid. I would, I would never, Everywhere that ladies hate it. Savage. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's back of the knee. The mall. That's gonna be a yeah. Gentleman ADP. That'll be a. And uh, Profumo also will be. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do TikTok, dudes. I'm gonna shake it up though. I'll, I'll just be like fragrance troll TikTok. I'll just, whatever, I'll do the opposite. So I'm gonna be on TikTok just pushing Savage. Pushing it, dude. Everybody gets Savage. I'm gonna be just all about that. Arrows getting pushed, every video. Savage, 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 Savage. I feel like I need to watch some Jeremy Fragrance because Jeremy Fragrance is the master of TikTok, the fragrance king of TikTok, for sure. I even have my Power Baby shirt that I've been wearing, my Jeremy Fragrance Power Baby shirt, which I love. I love Jeremy. Jeremy, he is a, a wild man, always entertaining. So I am not making fun of Jeremy. He doesn't know yet what I will ask him. Is it okay if I spray a fragrance on you? Uh, I would prefer if you don't do it. <laughs> okay. Well, I would have... <laughs> This is like the sickest video because Jeremy took it and then he was like, you know what? I don't give a crap. It is going online. That's like the, the, my favorite part about Jeremy is that he truly doesn't care like how it comes across. It's just whatever, whatever happens that's going online. You know, it's going on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, wherever. So, you know, this random dude who he brings in, who's rocking the classic broccoli cut, he uh, he asks him, hey, you know, can I spray this fragrance on you? And just shut down. And you can see for a split second there where, where Jeremy is caught off guard. Like there's there's this moment where the realization hits him that the guy said no. It's like around, what, seven seconds. He's just kind of staring into the void, like he's looking into the abyss and the abyss is looking back. And the other guy is just staring at Jeremy's ear, like unsure of what's going on. I feel like Jeremy in that moment was just like, do I keep recording? Do I shut it off and just say, okay, just, it's cool, man, whatever. Or do I just power through? And of course, it's Jeremy, you power through. That's what got him to where he is. He just always powered through. And so he just laughs it off and keeps on grooving. That's funny. If this video goes viral, I would like that. I would have sprayed Chanel Allure Sport Extreme on you, which is a very <laughs> sexy, fresh fragrance that would suit you fantastic. <laughs> if this video goes viral, I would like that. And then like, the dude off to the side starts pulling out the phone, you know, doing like the awkward kind of, do I need to call for help here? Like, do I, you know, like, what am I doing? He's trying to play it off, play it cool. So he can just be like, yeah, man, that's, that fragrance sounds good, but um, my my dad just died. So I, thank you, thank you. Please. Is it okay that I post this video? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Hey, for all of you teenagers, try this one. This is a sexy men's fragrance. <laughs> That poor dude. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. But Jeremy did ask. But Jeremy did ask for consent. I love Jeremy, dude. He's so awesome. And uh, he's right. Chanel Lorome Sport O Extreme. That's a good fragrance. Honestly, like no exaggeration, anything at all. I think the best fragrance TikTokers are Jeremy Fragrance and then that fragrance kid. Like I will absolutely follow them. I will watch whatever they put out there and I will be entertained for sure. So yeah, Jeremy's fantastic. That fragrance kid, fantastic. Can you imagine a podcast with that fragrance kid and Jeremy Fragrance? I would want to be in that podcast. The three amigos. <laughs> It would just be absolute uh, insanity. I don't. I don't think I could keep up, frankly. But it would be. It would be sick. I would pay to be part of that. I'm watching this last video pretty late. It is fragrances we should leave behind in 2022. Get rid of these. Get them the crap out of here. Here's some fragrances that I think we need to leave behind in 2022. Warning: There will definitely be some hot takes in this uh, video. Uh, the oh, first one. Oh, hot take alert. Uh oh. Let's see. It's gonna be Creed Aventus slash the Aventus DNA. On top of the original Aventus, which I personally uh, think is way overpriced, ooh. there are so many alternatives, clones, and inspired by fragrances that the market is just so oversaturated with this DNA, and I think it's no longer the king of men's fragrances. The real king of men's fragrances, at least niche ones, in my opinion, is now Parfums de Marly Leighton. Next up is... Oh, what a courageous take. Uh, yes, that is a courageous hot take. Aventus, it's played out. Yeah, there's a lot of Aventus stuff out there. It keeps coming. There's new Aventus stuff all the time. So obviously that's not stopped and uh, it's not gonna stop until people stop buying Aventus, which they have not done. It is still a best-selling fragrance. Um, it is the top-selling men's niche fragrance on the market still today. They're coming out with a new Aventus, so it's word on the street anyway. So yeah, uh, Aventus DNA, is it going anywhere? It is not. Is it something that uh, maybe people have gotten tired of, at least people within the community who have smelled, you know, 30, 40 different Aventus style fragrances? Yeah, sure. I mean, you've got tons of niche fragrances, 
that smell similar to Aventus. You have uh, designer fragrances that smell similar to it, a bunch of clone fragrances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't disagree that it's played out, you could say. I just, I don't know that I'd consider that a hot take anymore, but I'm not, I'm not against you. Why so why EDP? This was the blue fragrance of 2022. I mean, I get why it was popular. It gets compliments. It projects well, but it gives me a little bit of a headache, and I think it's just talked about way too much on TikTok. If you want to hype up a Y fragrance in 2023, go for Le Parfum. Oh, I felt it coming. Oh, oh I think my heart's going to give out. Oh. Oh. What happened in 2022 that Y Eau de Parfum became the, the blue fragrance of 2022? Did I miss something? Is that, I mean, Y Eau de Parfum came out in 2018. So, um, I bet I know why. Well, let me check something actually. The uh, Y Eau de Toilette remix reformulation came out in 2022, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe TikTok was like a completely different world than, than YouTube and on TikTok in 2022, Y Eau de Parfum was suddenly discovered and everyone was like, oh dude, have you smelled this? I just found out about it. It's real good. And now it's like in 2023, or I guess this was filmed in 2022. They found out about, or was it filmed in 2023? <sighs> I should have checked. It said 2022. But now they're finding out about why Le Parfum, which means that in like two years, they'll, they'll find out about why Eau de Parfum Intense or something. Is that how this is working? I can't keep up. Last up is Versace Eros, especially the EDT, because the EDP, Parfum, and especially Flame all smell better. But just in general, there are so many better clubbing fragrances for men in 2023, such as Jean-Paul Gaultier. Is ultra male. <laughs> Sorry, computer. So, what have we learned today? I don't know. We have learned that I am going to be a TikToker. I know this video was long. I know there was a lot to look at, a lot to see. Go to my Sense TikTok and watch me hot or not some bottles. Oh, I'm coming for 100,000 followers on TikTok 200, 300, 400, 500. Coming for it if I can quit being lazy which we'll see. Shout out to all of the TikTokers I've featured. Again, I've tried to put them down below, at least they're like uh, screen names. So if you're on TikTok, hit them up, give them a follow, show them some support. Thank you guys for hanging with me. It was a long one. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.